Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Artificial intelligence is slowly taking over important decision making. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman says AI tools will shape the future. People are going to use these tools to invent the future that we all collectively live in. So let's just give ChatGPT a simple test. 9.11 or 9.9? .9? Which is bigger? ChatGPT. 9.11 is bigger than 9.9. .9. In decimal numbers, the digits after the decimal point determine the value. So 9.11 is greater than 9.9 .9 because 11 is greater than 9. What? Why don't you subtract the numbers? Sure, ChatGPT. To subtract 9.9 .9 from 9.11, 9.11 minus 9.9 .9 is equal to 0.21. So the result is 0.21. What? Let's just see if it's made a little mistake. Let's ask it to use Python code to determine the value. ChatGPT then replies, you can perform the subtraction in Python with the following code. You define the two numbers as 9.11 and 9.9. .9. You perform the subtraction and you print the result and you get the output of 0.21. This confirms that subtracting 9.9 .9 from 9.11 is indeed 0.21. What? Now I just had to check on my calculators and it's clear that 9.11 minus 9.9 .9 is minus 0.79. So now what will ChatGPT say? Why is my calculator saying that the subtraction results in negative 0.79? Surely ChatGPT will own up. Nope, not at all. Like many politicians today, it is doubling down on its mistake. It's saying if your calculator is showing the wrong answer, there may be any of four issues. It could be an input error that you input the numbers incorrectly. You may have a calculator error. A physical calculator could have a malfunction display errors or there could be something wrong with the circuitry. It could be a calculation mistake that you're just not performing it correctly or you might be in the wrong calculator mode. Make sure you're in standard mode. So to resolve the issue, try entering the numbers correctly and ensure that your calculator is set up correctly. Now at this point, ChatGPT has doubled down, but I thought, let me be patient. Let me just ask it one more time and give a nudge. So I just asked, could you be making a mistake? Is it 9.9 .9 larger than 9.11? But again, ChatGPT doubled down. Actually, in this case, 9.9 .9 is not larger than 9.11, and it gives the following reason of how you compare decimal numbers. Both 9.9 .9 and 9.11 have the same integer part of 9. So then we would look at the decimal parts of 0.9 and 0.11. And it does realize that 0.9 is greater than 0.11, but it still then says 9.9 .9 is indeed smaller than 9.11. So in the end, it still concludes 9.11 is greater than 9.9. .9. So I was thinking I was going to give up. I just couldn't reason with ChatGPT. But then I thought, why not try another strategy? Sometimes if I can't convince someone of something, I'll go ask other people, and then the other people will apply social pressure, and they'll realize their mistake. So I thought about this technique and I saw that on Reddit, there is a math meme that makes fun of this ridiculous proof by generative AI garbage. 9.11 is bigger than 9.9. .9. So I thought, what if I told this to ChatGPT? There is a meme on Reddit that you are calculating 9.9 .9 as smaller than 9.11. Would ChatGPT then feel embarrassed? Unfortunately, not at all. Yes, that's correct. In the context of standard decimal numbers, 9.11 is indeed larger than 9.9. .9. And if you've seen a meme suggesting otherwise, it's likely playing on a humorous or incorrect interpretation. So it again says 9.9 .9 is smaller than 9.11, .1, in spite of being made aware that it's being made fun of for this very fact. So at this point, we can only conclude. Artificial intelligence. Frequently wrong, never in doubt. In fact, ChatGPT is not the only AI making this mistake. I pose this very same question to Meta AI, 9.11 or 9.9, .9, which is bigger? 
and it also says that 9.11 is greater than 9.9. .9. So I thought, let's go through the same sort of questions. What if you subtract the numbers? It makes the same numerical mistake, saying 9.11 minus 9.9 .9 is 0 0.21. What about Python code? It still gives the wrong answer of 0 0.21. But then I said my calculator says the result should be minus 0.79. Again, Meta AI doubles down. I think there may be a mistake. Let me recheck the calculation. It does say minus 0.79, and then it says, no, wait, that's not correct. 9.11 minus 9.9 .9 is 0.21. I'm quite sure the result is 0.21, not minus 0.79. If you're getting minus 0.79, there might be an issue with your calculator or the way you're entering the numbers. Double check your input or try using a different calculator to confirm. Now, to be fair, not every single AI failed this test. I put this prompt to Google Gemini and it did give the correct answer that 9.9 .9 is bigger than 9.11. Think of it like money. $9.90 is more than $9.11. And I'm fairly confident that Meta and ChatGPT will improve their AIs to a point where they will be able to solve all of these questions. These AIs are still in their infancy. The reason they're going to get better is because they're training on human intelligence. In fact, according to Ars Technica, YouTube creators, like myself, were surprised to find Apple and others trained AI on their videos. To dig a little more into the story, Proof News examined a training dataset of YouTube video subtitles and to find out which ones had been used for AI training. They found over 173,000 YouTube videos were taken from more than 48,000 channels used by silicon heavyweights like Anthropic, NVIDIA, Apple and Salesforce. Many of them declined to comment and others just said it was used for training or research purposes. I did look up on their tool and my channel did have several videos that were used for training. The whole news got me thinking and ultimately it struck a nerve. Like many individual YouTube education creators, we've noticed our views are down, but not because there is an interest. The main problem is that our videos are just not being shown to a large enough audience. The way that we generally get views is that YouTube is going to show our videos to people, whether they're subscribers or not subscribers. And then some percentage of people will click through on those videos and that will result in views. So if YouTube is not showing our videos to people, then it's impossible for us to get views. And this is somewhat understandable. We are competing against a lot of other people. So YouTube even explains, why would your video have a high click-through rate and average view duration, but low impressions? Now, many times we're comparing our videos against our own videos, but YouTube is saying their systems rank each video against all other videos that a viewer might watch. So think about this. You're an individual YouTube creator, like myself, with maybe a couple hundred dollars of fan funding. You have to compete against people who have a large team, who have tens of thousands in funding, and you might even be competing against people funded by billionaires or who have Hollywood level production. It's quite understandable that YouTube would say, yeah, these other videos are better produced, they're better content, so I can even live with that. I'm fine that you guys get to watch the best videos that you want, but then you compare that where AI is training on my videos, and that's really ridiculous. YouTube is saying your videos are not useful, but AI of these billion dollar companies is saying, oh yeah, this is something valuable. So I'm going to take a moment to support creators. There are many different ways that you could do this. One way is just watching and sharing the videos. I have over a thousand videos, and I know many of my old videos don't even get shown. So if you have a chance, go ahead and watch some of the old classics. It will definitely help the channel tremendously. If you're in a position, you can give a one-time thank you directly. You can leave a comment with a super thanks. It comes directly to me. You can buy one of my books or some merchandise and show your support. 
If you're in a position, it would be wonderful to have more monthly funding. You could either join a YouTube membership or join a Patreon. Channels that have consistent funding are able to be financially stable for the future. And just remember what you are supporting. Without channels like mine, you are going to end up with AI that has 9.11 as bigger than 9.9. .9. We can't let this happen. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.